Hey everyone, it's Megan, your health educator. And today we're gonna talk about face masks. I know if you're out in public, you're seeing a lot of people having a face mask on. Well, the truth is, it's for more of your protection than theirs. Somebody could be spreading the coronavirus without having any symptoms. So by wearing a cloth mask over their face, they're reducing the spread of the virus. Now, first things first, a mask does not replace social distancing. Social distancing remains the number one method to reduce the spread of the virus in our community. However, for out in public, it's important to have a mask on, just in case we have it and we're not symptomatic. Next, my coworker Kayla is gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own mask at home with the supplies that you already have. Take it away, Kayla. Thank you so much, Megan. Hi, everyone. My name is Kayla, and I'm a health educator bringing you all today's do-it-yourself project. Now today what we will be making is an at home face mask and we'll be using very little materials to do so. So what we'll be using is going to be two hair ties. We also have two paper clips that we'll be using and the last thing that we'll need for our face mask is a bandana. Now if you really like what you all see here today, we are actually going to be sending out face mask kits. So be sure to direct message us or comment on this video below and we'll be sure to make sure uh, that you all receive a kit so you can make a face mask such as the one that we're creating today. So we have everything that we need here in order to make our face mask. So we have our bandana, we also have paper clips. And then we also have our hair ties here. The first thing that we are going to do is take our bandana and we are going to fold it in half, like so, okay? The next thing that we're going to do is take the bottom part of this bandana and fold it to the middle and we're gonna do the same with the other side, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is take one of our rubber bands and we're gonna put it on one end. And when we're doing this, we wanna make sure that it's about six inches apart from the other hair tie. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is flip it over. We're going to take one end to the middle like so. We're going to do the same with the other end as well. This is where our paper clips come into play. We're going to take one paper clip and we're going to put it at the end here. So that way we can make sure that our mask is nice and secure. And we're going to do the same on this end as well. So this will be the back of your mask, and this is going to be the front of your mask. You can adjust your mask like so, and this should be the finished product. At the end of that tutorial, you should have a finished product very similar to this. Simply, you just take these two hair ties and loop them around your ears, like so. few important things to consider. As you're out in public touching things at the grocery store, such as the food on the counter or possibly the shopping carts, you're transferring germs to your hands. So when you take this mask off and you don't wash your hands first, you're having a high risk of these germs touching your face, which what gets us sick. So it's recommended to wash your hands first, remove your mask, and then wash your hands again. The Center for Disease Control also recommends just simply throwing this into your normal washing machine to get it clean. It couldn't be any easier. So comment below or send us a direct message if you're interested in us sending you a personal kit to build one of these at your home. Leave the N95 mask and surgical masks on the shelf for the doctors to buy because we have got you covered.